guys, it's fun. Um, this is just a quick update, nothing special. No big unboxings yet. I say yet. I do say yet. Alright, so let's see. First on my list of notes, I have iPod Touch update. My iPod Touch, it has to be one of the best purchases I've ever made. Um, I got a case for it. And it's working great. Um, I have two cases actually because. I have this little rubber thing. Anyone wants to buy it off of me? Whatever. It's like two bucks probably. Three bucks. It's just a little rubber soft case. It goes over the iPod. And at the end of the day, it's a great case, don't get me wrong. I had that for a while. But um, last Tuesday, I was at the Apple store and I said, Why don't I? Well, I'm here anyway. Why don't I just get myself a case? So I got an iPod touch case. It was a soft case, it's not this one. And I bought it, went out this went out the store, went to go eat dinner somewhere in the mall. One of those like disgusting food court places. Those places are gross. So I went to go eat food in the mall and these didn't line up. These uh the headphone jack right there. The headphone jack and the dock port. And also, even the hold key didn't line up, so I thought maybe it's just the one that I bought. Maybe it's just a flawed one. So I return. I exchanged it for another of the exact same thing. Um, same thing. So I returned it. So that was thirty-five bucks, expensive. So I returned that. Got ten bucks back after buying this because this was twenty-five bucks. And this is a really great case. I would rather have the soft case, the leather case, the little strap that goes over the top, but this one's fine as well. All right, don't wanna make this too long. Next thing is um, my monitor. I unboxed the monitor, that was the last video I had. It is absolutely amazing, so helpful. I'm yet to get a stand for it, but should, that should be coming soon. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get that. But yeah, it's great. I haven't found anything wrong with the monitor, except every once a week, maybe once every two weeks, right now I'm recording camera, or the iSight camera on the iMac, but every two weeks, the camera, well, it's not the camera itself, but it's the USB connection, it gets kind of dusty or something, and so the camera on the monitor, when I'm recording with it, it gets all fuzzy, and there's like a big green spot at the bottom of it, I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, no dead pixels, um, great resolution, great contrast ratio, um, it's really great. I've been using it with Aperture, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, yeah, next update, next thing is the Safari. Actually, I'll do 10.5.2 first. On January something, they released 10.5.2, which had a lot of new stuff. Um, fit my, before, on my dock stuff got messed up, like, the stuff would appear invisible in my stacks, and, I don't know, just some random stuff, that got fixed with the, that got fixed with 10.5.2, and they released Safari 3.0, and 10.5.2, which is actually really great, I've been using that, but, um, yeah, 10.5.2 was a big update, I really liked it, because, at the same day, they came up with the iLife update for, you know, like iMovie, GarageBand, iWeb, iDVD, let's see what I'm looking at, iPhoto, um, yeah, all that stuff, and a, what's it called, whatever pages is in, that's really sweet, iWork, that's it, uh, that fixed a few bugs, I haven't found any bugs in that, even before it fixed, but definitely the iMovie had changed, because before it, uh, it would freeze up after I click the stop button, and it was just really annoying. So I had to record each video like three times. Um, well, that's been happening a lot. Been, that has been happening to a lot of people. That talks about. Um, not just me, but yeah. Uh, next thing is Safari three point one. 
and they just said they released Safari 3 when they released 10.5.2, but I am an Apple licensed developer, so they gave me, they released, they gave me a free download of Safari 3.1 beta that's only been released to the developers. Um, so yeah, don't try and get that off of any torrent because it's not licensed for resale and anything like that. Just, I don't use torrents. I've never done that stuff and I don't think I ever will. Not my style. Um, yeah, with Safari 3.1, I, I was using Safari 3 to start when 10.5.2 came out. Then I got Firefox because I just like it a lot better. I like the feel of it a lot better and it's a lot, it's a lot more like a Mac program, Fire, I have Firefox 3, Beta 3, and it's a lot more like a Mac program than Firefox 2 was. It feels like, it feels like I'm using Safari, like an amazing version of Safari, and that's faster than Safari 3, so I didn't, they were saying Safari 3.1 is supposed to be 3 plus times, or 3 or more times better than Safari 3.0. But since I was using Firefox, which was maybe one and a half times better than Safari 3.0, when I switched to Safari 3.1, which I'm, which I've been using the last couple of days, it's only one and a half times better than Firefox, or it only seems one and a half times better. It doesn't seem three times better, but I'm sure if I did them both side to side, it would be a lot better. Oh, uh, let's see what else. But yeah, Safari 3.1 is really fast. Oh. One thing I forgot to mention on this, 1.1.3 came out, um, yeah, that was the same day as 10.5.2, the, the Google Maps, my location, actually, wait, yeah, that was wild about, I, got, I had 1.1.3 when I bought this, but yes, yesterday or the day before, I think it was the day before, 10 point, I mean 1.1.4 came out, which didn't have much, but what I really like that it did update is, okay, so on Safari, on mobile Safari, when you go to another page, like this, I can go to multiple pages, and when I go to another page, if I go to this page, that page would stop, it would like stop, like everything on that page would stop, and I like to use uh, AIM on my iPod sometimes when I have Wi-Fi, and that's what that is. But that would stop at 1.1.3 and 1.1.2 and 1.1.1. And they fixed that so you don't have to sign back in every time. That's really helpful. Okay, last thing. Aperture 2. This got released February 20th, something like that around there. I downloaded the free trial and I didn't install it because I had a few computer hiccups. So I installed it the other day. It's not the fastest of programs, but it does do what it says it will do. So I'm like one of those people on the commercials. It does do exactly what it says it'll do. It's pretty intuitive. It's easy to use. It's just a really great program. It's a 30 day trial if anybody want it. I'll post the link in the video description right there. And you can download it. It's a free trial. They give you a trial license for 30 days. It's fully, full trial, you don't get any restrictions or, lim or limitations, and I just really like that. Okay, running short on time, 45 seconds left. Okay, so that's Aperture 2. The last thing, update on the MacBooks and MacBook Pros. I'm going to make a separate video for this, but I'm saying sometime this summer, yes, I know, I just got a brand new iMac with two 20-inch displays. I'm going to get one of the new MacBook Pros for school next year, because I'm going off to high school next year, so... I don't want to use my old Dell laptop, so I'm getting a MacBook Pro for myself. Buying it myself, of course. And yeah, I'll make an up I'll make a new video on the MacBook and MacBook Pro updates, as well as a few other things. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, see you later guys.